Yeah. Did men come over and of course they were, there were events in Oakland. Yeah. Uh, does that look bad on the movement? No, it's great for the movement. I mean, 20,000 people come out in solidarity of somebody getting shot by a rubber bullet, you know? And uh, it's every city, it's every city has one, has an Occupy, and it's just like, it's, uh, it's really good to hear that. I, are you uh, are you seeing the otherwise movement going increasing or decreasing? No, we're with the, with the, with the, the winters coming and fall is. We're there. coming together as a community. Like any, we had 50 to 100 people come together, total strangers, you know, with all 100 different ideas. So they come together. We have to live together out here with no power, you know, barely any like connection to the outside world. Like I mean, internet and everything. I don't have it here. My cell phone's dead. You know, so it's. The way we should be living. That's another story. Um, we get sidetracked so easily. So it's not voluntary simplicity. It's uh... no, it, it's organized chaos or disorganized chaos. Uh, but we come together, and now we've been here two weeks living together, and we know each other. We've been eating together. And we're becoming a family, you know. And we're helping out each other. And there's always going to be problems when you get, you know, when you're around your dinner table. There's always problems. So imagine having a dinner table with 100, 200 people. And so. And living outside, it's tough living outside. And issues with mental health, addictions, it's all here. It's all the stuff that society doesn't want to deal with is here. And we try to deal with it and we get in shit. You know, so, and that's what's happening in all around the world. Do you observe uh, any tension between neighbors? There's always tension between neighbors, but there's a lot of love here, you know, and, and we, we, we get along. There, there has not been any documented cases of fights or, uh, you know, aggression. I mean, it's, it's just very peaceful down here. And I've been here like all but two days. I think in Quebec the the, the trigger point was a fire actually. A fire? Well, because people are probably yeah. freezing their ass off sitting <laughs> in the park. You know, I mean, but, uh, you know, it's cold out here, you know, and you need fire. And so I'm sure, you know, they, that's a reason they come and shut it down. Oh, safety concerns and everything like that. But give us a proper fire pit, you know, uh, and we'll be all right. You know, let us live like humans are supposed to live instead of contained in these boxes. So, so winter lose is coming. Do you think that's that might be a deadline, sort of, so to speak, for you guys? Yeah. Well, it's it's a deadline for somebody, but uh, we know winter do happens here, and I'm sure the city's big on uh, on keeping it because they have a lot of tourist dollars. But where do those tourist tourist dollars go? Feeding the politicians, you know, feeding the system that's broken. So maybe we can ask the public not to come to Winterlude or, you know, um, come to Winterlude with us here, you know, and, and just enjoy the sense of community. Like, so you're going to pay $200,000 for ice sculptures, feed the homeless people here, you know, give us some heat, give us some proper shelter. I think that's a better use of our money. And that's what the people are fighting for all over the world. And, you know, that's, that's what I'm here for. You know? Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Volunteer. Thank you. You're welcome. And we'll be back tonight, by the way, at okay. six. But uh, because I'll edit the uh, piece, and I'll be here just lying saying that here, here's my piece. No problem. So, but yeah, we spoke to your colleague. Yeah, yeah. he's right. Yeah. He'll tell you. Yeah. yeah. Can, can we have your name or? Yeah, you can have my name.